Hey everybody, it's Anthem, and welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. So in the last episode, we ended up traveling up uh, Kingdom's Edge a little bit, and ended up at the Colosseum of Fools. And I ended up doing the first trial, and I ended up getting an extra charm notch. And I kind of don't know what I'm going to put down. Um, what do I have that's one charm? I guess I could take Grub Song off if I really wanted to and get a double charm. Ugh, I could do Long Nail, I guess. I don't know. This one's actually going to be pretty tough. I think... I think I'm just gonna go with uh, probably just the thorns. Like, it's not super useful or anything, but I don't really know what I. I don't wanna change what I have equipped right now. So I'll just add on the. Oh, actually, is this one? Yeah, this is also one. Damages them from healing. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, I'll take that, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight for the second Coliseum. I gotta pay for it first, though, of course. Welcome back, warrior. Make a contribution, and you can enter the trial of the Conqueror. 450. It's a little, little expensive, but I'll do it. Very well then. A new trial is open to you. I hope your performance is spectacular. Trial of the Conqueror. Fight for Geo and a rare medal. Place a mark and begin the trial. Yes. I really hope that this is not going to be my first death. If it is though, then the pressure's off and then I can just go ahead and die as many times as I want. It would be nice to go through this whole playthrough without dying though. He wasn't so bad. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the... Spore Shroom on, I think is what it's called, maybe? Oh, I thought he would've died by now. Okay. I just need to take a more... relaxed approach with this, I think. Heal. There we go. He's dead. Spikes. Okay. I just need to hit them away when they come at me. If I seek them out, I just. I get kinda careless and end up getting hit by a lot of stuff. Uh oh. Okay. This is a good enemy to be facing right now. It gives me time to heal. Uh oh. Gotta get rid of the ones that I don't like. There we go. But at what cost? I took damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really need to, needed to get rid of that guy. Uh-oh. Okay, what do we got? Nice, knocked him off. <laughs> this is a little cheeky of Team Cherry. Okay, what's next? The little ones I can handle just fine. Especially with uh, quick slash on. Oh, okay, here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Sometimes he does like a bigger jump. Okay. What are you? What are you talking about? My goodness. I thought the exploding bats was cheeky. I don't have enough to heal. Uh oh. That was entirely my fault. Okay, heal. Oh, that's mean. Okay, heal. Heal. Darn it, I got a little greedy. Okay, he's gonna try to get me. Just dodge and heal, probably. I don't know. He likes to get pretty close. Yeah, so the running away thing works to heal. I just don't want to accidentally kill him. There we go. Okay, what's next? Bring it on. Okay, not too bad. Oh my gosh. I also, I can't heal while I'm in the air or while I'm on a wall like this. I don't have a spot to heal. Uh oh. Oh gosh, that kind of sucks. Uh oh. I took so much unnecessary damage right there. Okay. These guys aren't so bad. I, I just need to get one of them alone and then I can kind of leverage the healing time they give me. Got a little greedy there, but it worked out. There we go, okay. This one's definitely tougher than the last one, that's for sure. This is a new enemy, I think. It's like the ones in uh, Green Path that I really don't like. I'm 
I'm just glad. Okay, spikes apparently. I was gonna say I'm glad they're just giving me a moment to rest with these guys. But they said no, like right as I thought that. These guys have a ton of health too. Oh, darn it. I don't know what it is about these diagonal attacks, but for some reason they just get me. I would use my spell on them, but I'm kind of worried about what comes after this, because this is the rest, which means it's probably going to kind of ramp up. And I am probably not ready for the ramp up. Okay. What do we got? Okay, just more of these guys. Oh, darn it. I ran right into that one. Gotta take a moment. Just heal. Go back in. I'm glad I have the soul catcher, too. That's gonna make, uh... Getting soul pretty easy. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh gosh, that's a lot for my brain to handle. What? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm ever going to have any... Okay, I guess now would be time to heal. Oh, that makes it kind of hard to see. I just gotta get so, so far away from them. Here we go. Heal. Okay. Oh, darn it. I wish they were more synchronized. Then I could, uh... Time my movements out a little better. Okay, got one. Oh, goodness. Okay, now it's time to use spells. Got him. Okay, sweet. Was that it? Yes, that was it. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. I got actually a little uncomfortably close to dying there. Pale ore. Nice. I have two of the three that I need now. I can't even think of where to get the last one. Uh... Actually... I think I know exactly where to go to get the last one. I think I need to go to the Crystal Peaks. Yeah, pretty sure that's exactly where it is. I'll take off the spore shroom and put on the compass. But before I do any, oh, well, before I do anything, the last flame that I needed out of the three is actually at the bottom of Kingdom's Edge. So I'm actually going to take off Grub Song and the compass because I guess I can find my way well enough. And then I'll just put on Grimchild. And on we go to go get that flame, I guess. And then I'll just uh, go over to the tramway and get to a stag station. Then uh, head over to the Crystal Peaks. Oh, well, that's funny. <laughs> He's actually useful. Well, at least I can get a little more Geo out of this. I 
I hope it's not going to be really expensive to upgrade my nail again. Oh, I don't have the swarm on me. I'm going to have to go pick it up manually. That's that's crazy. I'm just so used to having it all just happen for me. This will offset the cost of uh, getting the upgrade, hopefully. I don't even remember how expensive the last one was. 1400 or something like that? With Grim Child equipped, now would be an actually good time to uh, have the Geoswarm charm attached because he's actually killing things. I was so lucky that that platform was there. Okay, this flame is going to be somewhere around here. There it is. I don't have a whole lot of room to work with, huh? Got him. Ooh. This one might actually be the toughest one just because of the limited space. Come on, charge me. Almost got him twice. Uh oh. Oh, got a little distracted by the, the falling. I'll just, I'll fight him down here. What? What hit me? I have no idea. He's got to be almost done. I was kind of hoping I still had the shroom spore on me. Nice, there we go. Okay, that was the last of the flames. Now I just gotta get over to the tramway so that I can get into the ancient basin and use the stag station. Well, that was bound to happen, just falling aimlessly like that. And then just over one and then down into the ancient basin. And then I'm actually going to take Grimchild off. Because I don't really need him anymore except for in Dirtmouth. So I will put Geoswarm on, absolutely. And then... The compass, I guess. Just because I like to be super extra sure that I'm in the right place. Tried to get some geo from that guy. Didn't work. That super dash sure is handy. Uh, 
Uh, I'll go up to Dirt Mouth. Yeah. Grey Prince, so dark, so troubled. But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below. Yes, Life Ender claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted into ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is my personal philosophy, the 57 precepts of Zot. Particularly relevant, here is the first precept, always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well... And then he basically, uh, 56 more times, he will say something different. I'm not going to do that. But now, something in here has changed. I will absolutely not do this right now. I, It's a boss fight. I cannot even tell you how many tries it took me to beat. And I'm not at maximum strength right now. So I'm I'm not even I'm not even gonna try that right now because that would absolutely be my first death, no doubt in my mind. There's actually a few things I can do in Crystal Peak, so it's actually a good thing that uh, something's bringing me back here. I haven't been here in such a long time. I, I haven't even been here since I got double jump. Like, I haven't even gotten this thing. That's crazy. King's Idol. That's big money. 800. Okay, what are we looking at? Uh, there's actually two paths that I don't even have explored right now. Well, three, actually. But first, I'm going to go ahead and do this. take these off because I know what's coming and I'm a little worried so I think quick nail is gonna be good but I think maybe fragile heart is the way to go with this one yeah I'll put on fragile heart uh, I think it gives me two more yeah two more Okay, here we go. Hopefully, I can make it through this without dying. This was a nightmare fight. My first time through. Okay, here we go. Trick, I think, is that uh, in the first version of this fight, he points his laser at you, and he takes. There's a pretty good delay between when he actually aims it at you and fires. But in this one, it's like he aims it at you, and then he shoots like so fast, and it just it throws you off because you're just really not used to his uh, the delay there. 
Oh, and I don't... Oh no, I did get hit there. I... Did I? I'm not even sure if I got hit. But he does, I think, two damage. So he does two masks per hit, which also makes him difficult. And I am beyond surprised that I actually went through that. And, uh, did not... do nearly as bad as I thought it would. Wow. Uh, so I'm gonna go down first. Uh, and then... You know, I'm, I'm actually so high up right now, I might as well just go up first. But then I'll go down, kind of over to that where it says resting grounds, and I'll just go across that big pit drop. Uh, first I'm gonna go up from over here though. So it should just be right here. Yep. Uncharted territory. remember when those guys used to kind of annoy me. I think they're my least favorite enemies in this area. I don't know if he survived that. I hope I pushed him onto spikes or something. I'm pretty sure there's a tree around here. Somewhere. Yep. Darn it. Okay, let's get this going. So I'm gonna kinda go over to the left. Uh oh. He kinda resets every time you hit him, so. Maybe just hit him quick is the trick. These ones really are not so bad to get. As as I as I say it, right? Okay, there's got to be some lingering. Yep, that's it. Okay. There's an upper path too, so I definitely want to travel on that. Yikes, this might be a little tough. Nice. Little worm saved. I probably don't have very many of those guys left to save. I really haven't uh, explored Queen's Garden basically at all. Uh, so I bet most of them are over there. But I'm probably gonna go into Queen's Garden in like maybe next episode, maybe two episodes from now, but it'll it'll be pretty soon. Because that's definitely the biggest blind spot. There we go. Just gotta be quick with those guys.
nothing secret around here. I keep hitting, trying to see if I can find anything. Hollow Nest's crown. And there it is, the pale ore. Okay, now that I've done that, uh, gotta go down, and then to the right. I'll just fall, that's fine. Oh, there might be enemies. Whatever, I'll, I'll find out really quickly. Oh, yep, th there was one. I should also really go to the uh, City of Tears to get the nail upgrade. Yeah, it's this way. I didn't wait to get all that um, geo that was flying at me. Okay, let's go. Hopefully I don't, I don't even need to kill them. Hopefully I don't find this too terribly difficult. Those platforms are... Oh, no. Those platforms are a little annoying, though. I don't need to bother with the enemy. Unless it's, like, literally right in my path. Okay. Uh-oh. Ooh. My little, my little toe touched that one. Oh, nice worm. Okay, I'll wait for them all to flip. That was, that was, that one was pretty smooth. Okay. Consumed the descending darkness. So I finally got the final spell upgrade. Nice. Now that spell is actually going to be useful. And I think uh, the fastest way out of here is probably falling down into the resting grounds, I'd say. Funny that you have a little ledge you can land on there. Even though you probably can't even get back up if you land there, so. Oh, I might as well check with the moth as well, just because I don't really have that much essence. I don't think I have enough for his uh, next reward. I know where to get it though, and uh. I'm only willing to do that after uh, doing some other stuff. Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream now. So, you already have 700 essence. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king. 
That lock of theirs. Desperate, but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it could hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I grow numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 900, come back and visit me. A vessel fragment. That's pretty worthwhile. And then I definitely don't think I have 900. Oh, I totally do. Okay, let's go. Ah, wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. The dream nail now holds 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind. Like prints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Hold the dream nail tight, wielder. And imagine a great or imagine a great gate opening before you. Master the dream gate. Hold triangle. Hold down. So it's it's basically a portal, kinda. So it's super, super worthwhile. I don't even know where the heck I'd put it though at this point. Oh, uh, a good gotta go to the stag station. Not there. Okay, um, so I'm going to head over to the City of Tears and then uh, upgrade my nail. I say City Storerooms is probably closer. Trying to get a little money along the way. Because it's no doubt going to be pretty pricey. Oh, I might as well sell a bunch of stuff while I'm at it too, huh? Almost got hit right there. I was being a little careless. shops right down here. Hopefully I can get a ton of money from them. Oh, 1200? I thought it was 1800. I think that's what I said last episode. An arcane egg, eh? Now this. This is an ancient thing. These relics are the prize of my profession. There's knowledge hidden within, though. Or, there's knowledge hidden within. Though it's very difficult, painstaking work to extract. One large understanding can be gleaned, though. This civil civilization may claim itself the first, but something else exi did exist within this place before Hollow Nest. Each egg offers a narrow glimpse into that forgotten age. And then I've read all of the other ones for... Uh, kind of all the other things that I saw, so I'm just gonna kind of skip through all this because he basically says the same thing for a lot of these. 
Oh, Paul. Velmi Ardred. I wonder if he says anything different if you literally Your sell him the last uh, Velmi Ardred. sellable item in the game. I have no oh, idea. Paul. Velmi Ardred. Kachail. Lyso. Velmi Ardred. At least I'll definitely have enough to upgrade my nail. Oh, Paul. Velmi Ardred. Boris son? Gian. Velmi Ardred. Boris son? Velmi Ardred. And I have over 15,000. Which is actually the goal I was aiming for, but I'm gonna be under it probably when I upgrade my nail. Which is fine. gonna take the longer path just because I want a little bit of money. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, you've returned? I see you have some pale ore. A rare, fine metal. A rare, fine metal, that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Four thousand. That's more expensive than I thought it was going to be. That's crazy. I'll do it, though. It's got to be worth it. Junsha. As you wish. I'll get to work, then. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be. As strong as it could ever be. And only your weapon have I, have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment had come upon me so soon. I, I must step outside a moment. Oh, his forge went dark. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. I beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste my blade's exquisite edge. After all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? Oh, I can't dream nail him. That's funny. So in my first playthrough, I actually ended up killing him here. But, uh, I think this time I'm going to leave him. Because he might think that's what he wants right now. But, uh... I know that uh, if you don't kill him, you can find him in another place. Uh, how am I? Oh, I. Ah! That's funny, I stopped it. Freaked me out. <laughs> Thought it was just gonna smush me. Still takes two hits on those guys. So I am actually going to end the episode here. We got some pretty good work done. We uh, did the second Colosseum on our first try, thank goodness. We went up to the Crystal Peaks, defeated the second version of the uh, 
Crystal Guardian, I think is what it's called. And I uh, went to Hollow Nest's Crown to get some pale ore and upgraded our nail for the final time. That was pretty successful. So uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.